What's up guys, this is Creator's Obsession here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to build a do-it-yourself net using a clothes hanger and a Ziploc bag. So this should be a pretty easy process. So basically what we're going to do is poke enough holes in the Ziploc bag and stick it on the clothes hanger and you can make yourself your very own easy do-it-yourself net. So basically the only real tool you need is a wire cutter or plier. So that way you can move the clothes hanger around. So this was a clothes hanger, but I took it apart. Not taking it apart, but I just unraveled the clothes hanger. So it should just look like one big wire. And so the first step we're gonna do is we are going to um, just open up this clothes hanger where you can use your wire cutter or plier and just open it up. And we're gonna start to poke holes into the plastic bag. I'm just gonna poke holes into the side of the bag to recreate the net and basically the more holes you poke the less resistance you'll have and the easier water will go through. So I'm gonna poke a couple holes into here to create as much uh, as little resistance as I can with the net. So a good way to just make sure you're poking enough holes is have most of the holes towards the bottom because that's where the water's going to be running out. And also if you want to test your resistance before applying it onto your clothes hanger, um, just put the net through the water. And this is extremely good resistance for me. The water's going right through this. This is really nice, so it'll work really nice as a net. And water will go out extremely fast. So it's basically a net without you having to buy one. All right, so now what we have to do is put this, your actual net piece, onto the uh, holding stick. So the best way to do this is you wanna make sure both sides are equal. So we wanna just get this and then fold the end to create two kind of equal-ish halves. They don't have to be exact, but uh, in general they do have to be. So next part is we're gonna apply this, this onto the, um, to the stick. Uh, make sure you have a couple holes in the top because that's where um, the handle is going to be attaching to the net. So we want to open this up and we're just going to go in and out with both. So we want to just find the hole and push it up and then just go in and out and that way you weave just like the mesh we made we're just going in and out with the clothes hanger. And the holes are a little hard to see, but it shouldn't be that difficult. I'm gonna speed this part. All right, so now we have the net uh, on onto the handle piece. So we're gonna take our pliers, we're gonna take this, and we are going to move it all the way to the side. So this way, when you net the fish, it won't hurt them. And also, so the net stays actually on to the handle. And now we just wanna make sure, measure that real quick. And then we're going to take down this part. All right, so now you have the basic form of the net. So now we're going to make sure the net is, stays on this end. So we're going to put the pliers into this side and pliers into this side. So this way, the net does never goes too far down. So if you make a 
bend like that, the net will never move down the handle. So you just wanna create these bends. And if the and if anything's kind of chipping off of the clothes hanger, that's fine. That's just the paint and the coloration. So actually this side is a bit too far off compared to this one, so let me change that. Alright, so I kind of forgot to tell you guys about it. If you want to have a really nice handle like that, a very easy way to do that is just to get your clothes hanger and then just kind of swivel around it so you can have a really nice looking handle. And then you want to just kind of swivel down like that. So then that way. So that way you can have a thicker handle and have it swivel at the same time. All right, so now you have your net. It's not the most aesthetically pleasing thing, but it works. So let's go test it out in our 20 gallon. All right, so, and also another thing, it's really cheap, really economical. All this stuff you can probably find in your house if you just look around. Yeah, see, as you can see, I just got two fish from my 20 gal. Um, it's fairly easy to catch them with. Water drains out fairly fast, like so. So yeah, it really works. And uh, if you really want to lengthen the time that this bag has and make sure the holes don't wear out on the top, you can always just use duct tape and, du and duct tape the top to the sides of that hanger so that way it works. But these guys are really suffering, so let's release them. And yeah, see, it works. Super economical, really good. And if you want multiple nets, like, let's say you're keeping fish that might have disease, stuff like that. This would be really good to fish out stuff without transmitting disease, because you can always make as many as you want, and you don't end up having to buy, like, 25 dollars nets.